Welcome back, mitochondrians, to the Scott Spot. I'm Officer Scott, and we're playing Parasite Eve. Okay, so last time we sort of got our bearings around the uh, New York City Police Department 17th Precinct. I, as place of work and employment, um, went down the Weapons Department, met um, Taurus and Wayne, and made our. Uh, we got a rifle, made that a little more powerful, and now we're going back up. Okay, so looks like there's a little kid at the end of the hall here that wasn't there before. Let's go talk to him. Nice outfit, kid. Hey there. You lost? Uh... Ben? Daddy! So this is Ben. Alright, so this is Ben Dallas, uh, Daniel's son. Got this artwork up there for you to see. Ben, this is Aya. Now, what are you doing here? Here. Tickets? Oh. Yeah. The concert. Sorry, son. Daddy's real busy today. I promise I'll make up for- Fine! A little brat. Send out a military school. Ben! And they're just gonna let him run off. Guess every kid needs a mother. That's not true. I was raised by my father too, after my mother died. I'll always be grateful for him. Yeah, well, his mother's still alive. Hmm, I guess they must have, uh, had a divorce. So does he have, uh, custody? Maybe Officer Kathy can explain more. You met Daniel's son, Ben? Daniel divorced his wife last year. This is before you were assigned here. He kept saying every boy needs a father. So he fought for Ben's custody with Lorraine, his ex-wife. Well, he won, but being a cop, I doubt if he has time to spend with him. Oh yeah, Captain Baker was looking for you. Thank you for the info, Kathy. Alright, so it looks like there's some trouble in paradise with uh, Daniel and Ben and Lorraine. Now I can get this medicine too, which restores 90 HP, which I will gladly take. Okay, um, uh, let's head back to the detective's office and find Baker. He should still be in his office. You got anything new to say, Daniel? I'm buying your, I'm buying your story, I. Well, like, anybody has any reason to disbelieve her? Well, I guess her story is kind of fantastic. Sir? You were looking for me? Yes. We're having a press conference now, and I want you there, too. Me? That's right. You'll be on national television as the sole survivor of that incident. I see. But you only answer when I ask you. The media is just looking for anything to grill us about. They may even turn you into a suspect. So you let me do the talking. Understood? Yes, sir. Okay, then. Let's go meet the press. Oh, boy. I can already see this not going well. So you're saying this could be the work of a terrorist? Let's see, in the background you can see Opera Theater Incident Press Conference. Captain Baker, Detective Bria. Oh, I see, okay. That is what we currently speculate. How about accounts of officers and firemen at the scene bursting into flames? That was, that was due to a rare, highly flammable chemical which was used to start the fire. I don't think so. Another question. Then how did Detective Bria survive without so much as a minor burn? That is a result of her quick thinking and training as an officer. I'm asking her the question? Oh boy. She... She said that my mitochondria were a mutation. Aya! Your... Mitochondria? Who said this? Melissa. No, 
she said she was Eve. But according to a report, Melissa Pierce was killed in the fire. Melissa did die. Her body had been taken over by this... Eve. What's this Eve? Some kind of an alien? Oh boy, this went south quickly. People, please! She's very tired and we are still investigating. Oh, people don't like this. That will be all for today. Way to totally go against your uh, directive there, Aya. It's almost like she wanted to talk to people. Aya, I thought I told you not to say anything. I'm telling the truth, sir. That is not the point. Who's going to believe you? You'll only stir up the media and cause people to panic. Sir, she was only. Baker here. Who? What does he want? Well, put him through then. This is Captain Baker. What? Me? You'll have to speak up. Yes. What? Yes. All right. Some Japanese scientist, I think. Couldn't understand his English too well. He was raving about some Mido something. Says he's coming over here. Mido? Is it mitochondria? You mean that thing in the cell that makes energy from oxygen? Might have heard about that in school. <laughs> yeah, you'd have to have not been listening at all in biology to not at least somewhat remember the term mitochondria. That's what Eve had said. If you don't know, mitochondria is basically an organelle within every single one of our cells responsible for energy production using ATP. I knew what mitochondria was long before uh, school taught me thanks to this game. <laughs> That's what Eve had said. Then it's time for the mitochondria to be set free. Hey, I just read that some researcher at the museum wrote a new theory on them. Sir, I'm taking Aya to go talk to this researcher. Go. Better get there before the media. It may explain that phone call, too. Yes, sir. Come on, Aya. Alrighty. Looks like we have a lead, at least. We can ask him some questions about the mitochondria. Alrighty. What's going on in here? Um, oh, here's a uh, Warner. ESP, huh? Well, I'm not buying it still. I'll bring the car around. Meet me at the front. Okay, so let's see. How are we doing time-wise? Um, let's go talk to Baker again. What are you waiting for? Get on it! The researcher may be a good lead for us. Well, I guess we don't have anything else to do other than, you know, pursue Eve. <laughs> okay. Uh, I know this is going to be a short episode, but uh, we don't have enough time left in this episode to get through the next sequence of scenes. So, um, let me just save here. Save file 2. There we go. Actually, let me overwrite this one. Okay. And I guess next time we will head to the museum to speak to this mitochondria researcher. Until next time, mitochondrians, I will see you at the Scott Spot.